Hi everyone, this is Tasman from Tasman's Crochet Creations and in this lovely tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet my crochet pencil case. Soundstrap. <laughs> this crochet pencil case um, we'll actually be working from this side down to this side so we will start working in rounds like this working around and around and then when we get to this point we'll start working in rows so we'll chain one turn come to the end chain one turn and then we'll do that all the way around to form the opening where the zip goes okay um, so I will actually be working off a graph to do this um, a graph that I designed um, so um, so yeah with this graph um, I don't have it in hand with me I don't have a hard copy of it um, but I will definitely uh, put it on my Facebook page and my Instagram account and I'll definitely link that down below so if you want to follow the charts or the diagram you can just head over to my to either my Facebook page or my Instagram accounts and you can download it off there to reference from but I'm just going to use my laptop um, I have stitch fiddle on my laptop and I'm going to work off there so I'll just show you quickly okay so this is stitch fiddle this is my graph so I'll be working off this and um, we'll be working from this corner um, so where we end off uh, our side how should I put it where the sides are and when we start forming the actual pencil case we'll start using this graph and we'll start here we'll chain one and turn and we'll start this way and then we chain one and turn and work back here so this middle portion here this is the underneath of the pencil case and then these two sides is where the zips are going to go so if you imagine it if this is being the bottom of the pencil case this is going to wrap around and then the, the zip is going to go in the middle okay and what's nice about um stitch fiddle is that it has this progress tracker so you can track each and every row like this um, i definitely recommend getting stitch fiddle um but yeah stitch fiddle is perfect for corner to corner um cross stitch working in rows or working in colors like this with crochet um i can't remember the other things that you can use stitch fiddle for <laughs> um but yes um so this is what i'll be working off um while showing you how to crochet the pencil case okay so as i said i'll be working off my laptop um and but i will definitely show you what to do i will walk through each and every step with you every round to every row i will go through each and every row with you and i'll tell you when to color change and when to do this and when to do that and um when we finish crocheting the pencil case we will sew in the zip the, the zip that I'm using is just a 20 centimeter zip. Um, so, yeah, I will try and sew it in by the sewing machine. I shouldn't have a problem, but uh, but if I do, I'll just hand sew it like what I did here. Also with this pencil case, you can decide to have it four different colors like what I did. So I had blue on green, and then this side I had hot pink on purple. Um... Or you can simply have the pencil case two different colors where you have the whole pencil case one color and then you just have the lettering a different color so for instance like you have the body of the pencil case purple and then you can have the writing to be gray on both sides okay um, so for this pencil case We'll be needing a 20 centimeter, sorry, 20 centimeter zip. I'll be using four different colors. So I'll show you how to color change exactly like this. So you can make, um, so you can make it like this. 
um, but as I said you don't have to follow the way I'm doing it um, you can do it with two colors or you can make this just a plain pencil case with one color okay um, you'll also be needing a four millimeter crochet hook you'll be needing some scissors a tapestry needle and you'll also whoopsie <laughs> sorry you'll also be needing a stitch marker okay um, in terms of the yarn I will be using these colors here so I have gray I have blue I have this brown and I have this purple so I'm not quite sure yet what colors I'm going to use for the wording and then what color I'm going to use for that Sounds so good. as for the colors that we will be using um, I'll be using these four colors here so I will be using these two for the one side and these two for the other side so I've decided that Sounds for the really good. dark colors the blue and the hot pink um this is extremely hot pink <laughs> okay um so these will be um the letters um this will be the word the Sounds wording good. crochet and these two will be the rest of the pencil case so it'll be like the background image to these so okay so to begin the pencil case um as i said we're going to start from the side and then work our way to the opening of the pencil case so to begin we are going to make a magic ring and you can take whatever color you fancy this is just for the beginning Sounds of the right. side okay so um again so we're going to use our four millimeter crochet hook so we're going to take our our yarn we're going to wrap it around our fingers Sounds to right. form an x we're going to hold it with our two other two fingers and then we're going to flip it over then we are going to insert our crochet hook under the first loop pick up the second loop but keep all of the all of the loops on your hook so on your fingers and going to yarn over and then do a chain one okay and the chain one is actually just yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook okay and so now we are just going to put six single crochets into the magic ring so to do that it's just insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two to do a single crochet so again it's insert yarn over pull through then yarn over pull through two and you do that six times so in total i've Sounds done correct. three so now i need to do three more so one two and three so let's see we should have six one two three four five Sounds six correct. and a way to count your stitches um let me just get my camera to focus Yeah, so the way to count your stitches, whoopsie, sorry, are these little V, these little Vs. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now to close this off, we're just going to take our tail end. I'm just going to gently pull on our tail end and it should, um, the tail end should pull closed. Okay. So as I said, for the side portions of the bag, we are going to be working in the round. So again, we should have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So for the next round, um, maybe for the next round, we're going to put an increase into every stitch around. An increase is literally just two single crochets into the same stitch. So you're going to insert to the beginning stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, that's one stitch. And then we're going to take our stitch marker, let me just grab it here, we're going to take our stitch marker, and then we are going to insert it into the first stitch, there we go, and then we're going to place another single crochet into that same stitch that the stitch is coming out of. Okay, so that's two. Then you're gonna do that all the way around, putting one single, sorry, not one single crochet. So you're gonna put two single crochets into every stitch around until you get back to the beginning. And your stitch count should have gone from six to 12. Okay, and that's all that an increase is. It's literally just putting two single crochets into the same stitch. So I'm nearly at the end here. Okay. 
Okay. So now your stitch count should, should have gone from 6 to 12. Okay. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 where the stitch mark is coming out of. Okay. So to move on to the next round, we're going to place one single crochet into the first stitch. So I'm going to work over my tail end. So to do that, I literally just wrap it over my hook. And then I'll just do one single crochet in the first stitch. And then again, I am just going to oopsie, put my stitch marker back. Here we go. And then I'm going to put an increase into the next stitch. So that's one and two. And then we just repeat that all the way around, putting putting one single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase in the following stitch and you just repeat that all the way around putting one single crochet and then an increase and then one single crochet and then an increase all the way around and your stitch count should have gone from should have gone from 12 to 18 okay and then I meet back up with you when we're going on to the next round okay okay so now I am coming, well, so now I'm at the end of the round, and you should have ended on an increase round, sorry, an increase stitch, because you began the round with one single crochet, or a single crochet, so you're going to end with an increase. So as I said, your stitch count should have gone from 12 to 18, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next round. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And then I'm going to put one single crochet into the next two stitches. So just put it in the one stitch and I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to insert my stitch marker. There we go. So, that's, so there's already one single crochet in the first stitch. Now I put one single crochet into the, neck, the second stitch. So it's one single crochet in the next two, and then an increase. Okay. So another way to know um, if all if if you have uh, if you're doing it correctly throughout the round um, is that all of your increases should line up with each other. So I don't know if you can see clearly. Let me get my camera to maybe focus in a little bit. So as you can see, let me see there, all of like your increases will line up. So you get all of these like V's, if that makes any sense. Um, so there's an increase and then there's an increase the previous stitch and then there's our increase of this round. Yeah, but you just repeat that all the way around, putting one single crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase into the following stitch. Okay, so you just repeat that all the way around and your stitch count should have gone from 18 up to 24 by the end of this round. Okay, so I'm actually nearly finished with this round, so I'm just gonna um, finish crocheting this round with you. That's one two and then an increase so again you would have ended on an increase stitch since you started with a single crochet stitch okay oops sorry bump the camera okay so moving on to the next round your stitch count should have gone up to 24 so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 where the stitch mark is. Okay. Let me get my stitch marker out. There we go. Okay. So then, going on to the next round, we will place one single crochet into the next three stitches. So it's reading the first one, so it's one, two, three, and then an increase. 
Okay, so you repeat that all the way around, putting one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then an increase in the following stitch. And again, an increase is just two single crochets into the same stitch. Okay. One, two, three, and then an increase. And your stitch count should have gone from 24 to 30 by the end of this round. Okay, so you can repeat that all the way around, putting one single crochet into the next three, and then an increase, and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next round. Okay. Okay. So now moving on to the next round, by the end of this round, as I said, you should have had 30 stitches. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I think I miscounted somewhere. Let me just check here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I had my stitch count correct. I just miscounted. Yeah. So now moving on to the next round, we're going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches. So that's one. We're going to place our stitch marker back. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay. So now moving on to the next round, we're going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches. So again, it's just and then it's one single crochet into the next four again. So it's one, two, three, and four. And then an increase into the following stitch. Okay, so you just repeat that all the way around. And your stitch count should have gone from 30 to 36 by the end of this round. So you can just repeat that all the way around, putting one single crochet into the next four and then an increase and then I'll meet back up with you when you're ready to move on to the next round. Okay, so now that we are back at the beginning again, our stitch count should have gone from 30 to 36. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Okay, so now moving on to the next round, um, we are now going to just get my stitch marker out here. There we go. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are now going to put one single crochet in each stitch but in the back loops only. So if you look at your next stitch, for instance, you have you have two loops that make up one stitch. Let's go in here. Okay, so you have two loops that make up one stitch. So you have a front loop and then you have a back loop. And if you can see that there, let me just get my darning needle. So here are here are your two loops that you would normally go under. Like insert through the front, come out the back and you'll pick up those two loops. This is the front loop and this is the back loop. So you can insert through the middle and then pick up the back loop okay so that's what we're going to do for this next round so you're going to go insert into like the middle of the single crochet and you're going to push back like you're going to push towards the back and you should pick up you should pick up that second loop sorry that back loop and you yarn over and then do a single crochet like that 
and we can put our stitch marker back okay so you just do that all the way around putting one single crochet in the back loops only so you, again you insert through like the middle of the stitch put push back and then do your single crochet so it's insert through the back loop do one single crochet into every stitch around and you should have kept a stitch count of 36 you should have kept the same stitch count because we're not increasing or decreasing we are just putting one single crochet in each stitch around in the back loops only and what's doing it in the back loops only is pushing these front loops forward count yeah, so you can just repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet back up with you when you're ready to move on to the next round okay okay so now I'll come to the end of the round and your work should start to like curl up a bit and that's perfectly normal that is exactly what we want because now we're going to start forming um, the length of our pencil case um, so that's what working in the back loop does. It pushes those front loops forward and now it's going to like sit like that almost. Okay, so for the next round we're just going to put one single crochet into each stitch around but we're going to go through the stitch as normal. So we're going to insert through the front, we're going to make sure to pick up both the front and the back loop. Okay, so like we've been doing before when working these previous rounds um, you're just going to go through the stitch as normal. So you're going to place your stitch marker back in there. There we go. And then again, you're just going to put uh, one single crochet into every stitch around, keeping the same stitch count of 36. Okay. So you just repeat that all the way around, and then I'll come back and I will... Um, I'll show you what it looks like when we are finished this last round of the side of uh, the pencil case. Okay. Okay. So now this is what it should be looking like so far now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, this is what it should be looking like now. Um, so now we are going to start using our graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our stitch marker out. We won't be needing that anymore. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So we're just going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. So now we will be working onto the uh, we will be working on the size of the pencil case now. Um, so. We will now start to form the edges and so we will work around in rows and then there will be an opening here this side for the zip. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to the next round. Okay, so now moving on to the next round you would want to get your graph ready. So as I said you can either download it off my Facebook page or my Instagram but I'll definitely put the links to those in the, uh, in the description box below okay so now we're going to move on to the next round so what we're going to do is we are going to turn our work I'm going to stop there and we'll have two loops on hook and then I'm going to take I'm going to take my hot pink yarn okay so I'm just going to take my hot pink and then I am just going to wrap that around my hook I'm going to yarn over, pull that through. I'm just going to pull a bit of a tail through. And then we're going to want to just tug on the purple. And then we can just carry our yarn. So to carry it, we're just going to put the yarn over our hook like that. And we can crochet in our tail Sounds as right. well. And then we're going to single crochet into the next eight, sorry, into the next seven stitches. So that's one. Soundstripe. Two, three, four, five, oopsie, five, six, Soundstripe. seven. Okay. And then in the next stitch, we are going to color change. We're going to color change back 
to the purple. So we're going to insert yarn over, pull through, and we're going to stop there. And we'll have two loops on a hook. We're going to drop the pink. We're going to drop the pink, pick Sounds up the purple. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over with the purple and pull through those two loops on hook. Okay, tug on the pink. You can now drop the pink. We won't be using that Sounds again dry. for now. Okay, and then we're going to put one single crochet to the next four. One, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet and then color change. So we're going to insert, you know, over, pull through, stop there, stop there. And then we're going to get our next Sounds color. Dry. And then this color is going to be the color of the pencil case and not of the wording. Okay, so the lighter color, colors are the pencil case color. So let me get my sample out here. So what I'm referring to about the about the lighter colors, so these two colors are the background color to Sounds the pencil dry. case. And this hot pink and this blue will be the writing. So like this here, like this, but with the green side, it's going to be a whole lot lighter as you can Sounds see. Dry. It's going to be lighter and it's going to have this dark blue. Okay, so that's what I mean about the background colors. Okay, so we are now going to take our next background color. Again, we're going to put that over our hook. And we're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops of our hook. And then we are going to tug on the purple. Okay, so we can drop the purple. Okay, we can drop the purple. And then uh, we are going to put one single crochet into the next 10 if I'm not mistaken yeah so in the next 10 okay so as I said you're going to drop the purple so you're not going to carry it you're just going to leave it there but you can work over your green tail end okay so we're going to single crochet over the next 10 stitches three nine and 10 and then we are going to color change in the next stitch so we will insert you know pull through and stop there and we'll have two loops on a hook okay i'm just going to push all that over and then i'm just going to grab my blue okay so i'm going to grab my blue so my blue is my, my the wording the color of my wording or the color of the crochet word Okay, so then we're going to yarn over and then pull through those two Sounds loops on a hook. We're going to tug on our green and we are going to carry our green yarn. Okay, so we're going to tuck it by our work. We're going to carry, so we're going to work over our tail end. So we are going to um, tuck the green over our hook like that so we can work over it. Yeah, and then you'll place one single crochet in the first stitch and then in this next stitch Sounds we're going dry. to color change back to green. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, stop there, drop the blue, drop Sounds the blue, dry. and then pick up the green and yarn over and pull through those two loops. And then you want to tug on your blue yarn again. Okay, you can drop the blue, we won't be needing it. And then you're just Sounds going to put dry. one single crochet in the remaining five stitches. One, Sounds dry. two, three, four, and five. Yeah. So now we're going to move on Sounds to the next dry. round. We're going to turn and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches. So that's three and then four. And then we're going to color change into the next stitch. We're going to color Sounds change dry. the blue. So we're going to insert, you're going to have a pull through, and then you have two loops on your hook. You're going to stop there, drop the green, and then you're going to pick up the blue. Okay, so you're going to pick up the blue. So you're going to yarn over with the blue. You're going to pull that through. Tug on your green. We're going to carry the green yarn. So we are going to go into this. There's like a little diagonal bar over sounds there. That's dry. from 
pulling our yarn up the blue yarn so we're going to just go through there and then go through that single crochet we're going to carry the green green yarn so we're going to put that over a hook we're going to yarn Sounds over dry. pull that through do a single crochet and then in the next stitch we're going to color change again so we're going to insert yarn over pull that through then we're going to drop the blue we're going to drop the blue and then, we can't. And then in the next stitch we are now going to Sounds we're going dry. to put Sorry, in the next stitch we're going to color change. We're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, we're going to stop Sounds there. Right. And then we're going to color change back to pink. So we're going to yarn over with the pink, pull that through. And then in the next stitch, Sounds right. we're going to color change again. So we're going to insert, pull up the pink, and we'll have two loops on a hook. And then you're going to color change back to purple. You will drop your pink. And then you will work Sounds one single right. crochet in the next four stitches. And then you'll color change in the next stitch. Okay, so you are going to Sounds insert right. into the next stitch. You'll never pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're going to drop your pink and your purple. And then you're going to pick up the green. You'll never pull that through. You're going to go through that diagonal bar Sounds and right. then in through the stitch. And then you're going to put one single crochet in the first four. And then you're going to color change in the next stitch. So you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, stop there. And then you're going to yarn over with the pink, pull through those two loops on your hook. And then you're going to do one stitch in the pink and color change. You're going to insert under that, that uh, diagonal bar and the stitch. Yarn over, pull through with the pink, stop there. You'll have two pink Sounds loops right. on your hook. You're going to drop the pink. Pick up the purple, yarn over, pull through those two loops. You're going to carry the pink. You're going to put one single crochet into the next five stitches. Sounds right. And then you're going to color change into the next stitch. So you're going to insert into the next stitch. You're going to pull through the purple. You'll have two purple loops on your hook. Sounds right. You're going to bring up your pink. You're going to yarn over with the pink, pull through those two loops. Then you're going to tug on your purple. You're going to color, we're going to do one single crochet in the pink and color change. So then we're going to insert. We're going to insert, and then you're going to yarn over, pull through. We'll have two loops on your hook in the pink, and then you're going to color change back to purple. So you're going to yarn over with the purple, yarn over, pull through, tug on your pink, and then drop the pink, and then put one single crochet to the remaining five stitches. Sounds right. Okay. So now moving on to the next row, we're going to turn and then for this next row, we're going to put one single crochet into the next 17 stitches. Yeah, into the next 17. So you're just going to put one single crochet into each stitch for the next 17 stitches of the purple. You can leave the pink where it is. You're not going to worry about it. Okay. So you can crochet it all the way until you get to the second to last stitch of the purple. Okay. Okay. And then into the next stitch, we're going to color change to green. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. You're going to stop there with the two purple loops on your hook. And then you are going to just move this out of the way. Sorry. Okay. And then, so you're going to yarn over with the green. You're going to yarn over, pull through those two loops of the purple. You're going to go, go under that diagonal bar and the stitch. And then you're going to place one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. Okay. And then in the next stitch we're going to color change. So we're going to we're going to insert, you're going to pull through, we're going to stop there. You're going to pick up the blue, you're going to yarn over the blue, pull that through the two green loops, you're going to tug on your green, insert under the vertical bar with blue, and you're going to carry the green. Okay, so you're going to do one single crochet in the blue in the first stitch, and then we're going to color change in the next stitch. So you're going to insert. You're going to pull through, we're going to stop there. You'll have two blue loops on your hook. Sounds and then you're going to color change back to green. Okay. Tug on your blue there, and then you're going to put one single crochet in the remaining 
five stitches okay so now moving on to the next row i have just cut the blue and the pink yarn because you won't be needing it right now um so for this next row we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch across for um for the total of 17 rows just of this green your color change in the second to last stitch of the green okay so you'll just place one single crochet in each stitch for the next 17 stitches and then i'll come back and show you what to do next Okay, so now we are going to color change in the next stitch. So after I've worked those 17 stitches, we are now going to color change in the next stitch. So we're going to insert with the green, yarn over with the green, we'll have two green loops on a hook. We're going to take out purple, we're going to yarn over with the purple. So we're going to yarn over and pull through those two green loops. We're going to drop the green, and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three and four and then in this next stitch we are going to color stitch so we sorry color change so we are just wanting to grab our pink yarn and we are actually just first going to insert into the Sounds next strong. stitch with the purple you're going to yarn over with the purple so you'll have two purple loops on your hook then you're going to take your pink you're going to place that over your hook leave a little bit of a tail and then you're going to yarn over and pull that through those two loops okay then you're going to carry the purple yarn and you're going to work over your pink tail end so we're just going to put one single crochet into the next seven stitches okay okay so now we have Put one single crochet in the next seven stitches. Sounds right. Okay, and then in the next stitch, in the eighth stitch, we're going to color change. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through with the pink. We'll have two pink loops on a hook. Then we're going to take our purple yarn, we're going to yarn over with the purple. So we're going to yarn over and pull through those two pink loops on our hook. So we're going to leave, we're going to drop the pink, we don't need that anymore. And then we're just going to place one single crochet into the remaining five stitches. Sounds okay. So now moving on to the next row, we're going to place one single crochet in the first four stitches. Sounds and then we will color change in the next. So after those four, we will take our purple, we will insert into the next stitch, yarn over with the purple. So we'll have two purple loops on a hook. We're going to pick up the pink. So you're going to pick up the pink. And you're going to yarn over with the pink and pull that through, through those two purple loops. We're going to go under this diagonal stitch here, this diagonal loop. As you can see there, that diagonal loop, we're going to go underneath there into the stitch. So in the same stitch, we're going to place ones in crochet and color change. So we've inserted with the pink, we're going to yarn over Sounds with the pink, right. and then we'll stop there. So we'll have two pink loops on a hook. We will drop our pink, pick up the purple, we're going to yarn over with the purple, right. and then you're going to pull that through those two loops. You can drop your pink because you won't be needing it, and then you can just place one single crochet into the remaining... In the remaining stitches of the pink and we will just color change in the second to last stitch of the purple sorry not of the pink of the purple okay so we nearly there so might as well just continue crocheting okay so now we are ready to color change into green so we're going to insert with the purple in the next stitch or in the last stitch and then we're going to yarn over pull through we'll have two loops on a hook so we'll have two purple loops on a hook then we're going to yarn over with the green and then we're going to yarn over and pull that through the two purple loops okay again we're going to go through this diagonal loop 
and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches one two three four and then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we're going to insert yarn over pull through with the green we have two green loops on a hook you will then want to get our blue just find the end so then we'll want to just grab our blue just going to put that over our hook and then we're going to yarn over pull that through those two loops and then in this next stitch you can work over your blue for now just for this one stitch so in this next stitch we're going to put one single crochet in blue and color change so we have inserted with the blue then we're going to yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on our hook we're going to drop the blue and pick up the green okay so we should have only one one blue stitch and then we're going to place one single crochet in the next stitch with the green we're going to carry that blue yarn so that's one and then in the next stitch we're going to put one single crochet and color change so we're going to insert with the green yarn over with the green we'll have two green loops on our hook and then we will take our, our blue we're going to pick up our blue yarn over the blue pull that out so then we're going to carry the green again in this next stitch we're going to place one single crochet in there and then we're going to put one single crochet and color change in this next stitch so we're going to insert and over pull through we'll have two loops on a hook in blue and then we're going to yarn over with the green so we're going to take our green yarn over and pull that through those two blue loops and then we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch with green and then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we're going to insert with the green yarn over with the green we'll have two green loops on our hook we'll have two green loops on our hook and then uh, we're going to yarn over with the blue so we're going to pick up the blue yarn over pull that through those two loops of the green we're going to carry the green then in the next stitch we're going to place one single crochet in blue and color change so we'll insert with the blue yarn over with the blue yarn over with the blue and then we'll drop the blue we'll have two blue loop, blue loops on a hook then we're going to pick up the green yarn over with the green pull that through the two blue loops we're going to drop the blue because we don't need it anymore right now and we're going to put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches okay okay and then moving on to the next stitch sorry the next row we're just going to place one single crochet into the first four stitches and then we'll color change in the next so we will insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on our hook we're going to pick up the blue we're going to yarn over with the blue pull that through the two green loops on our hook tug the green a little bit we're going to carry the green in this next stitch we'll place one single crochet and color change so we will insert under that diagonal bar and then into the stitch yarn over pull that through then we'll have two blue loops on a hook we're going to drop the blue pick up the green we're going to yarn over with the green pull that through the two blue loops we're going to carry the blue yarn we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch with the green and then in the next stitch we will color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue sorry two green loops on a hook we will drop the green, pick up the blue, and then we'll yarn over and pull that through the two green loops. We'll carry the green yarn, we'll place one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we'll color, we'll do one single crochet in the blue and color change in the next stitch. So we'll insert, you know, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two blue loops on our hook, and then we're gonna take our green, we're gonna yarn over with the green, pull that through the two blue loops you're going to carry the blue yarn one single crochet in the next stitch with the green and then we'll color change in the next stitch so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on our hook and then we will pick up the blue we'll yarn over in the blue and pull that through those two loops of the green tug on the green we will carry the green yarn and then we will put one single crochet in the next stitch and color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on a hook we'll drop the blue pick up the green yarn over pull that through those two blue stitches 
Then you'll place one single crochet in the remaining four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then in this next stitch, we'll color change back to purple. So we will take our green, we will insert with the green, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two green loops on a hook, then we'll pick up our purple. Yarn over with the purple, pull that through those two green loops. And then you're going to go under the diagonal bar and then you're going to place one single crochet in that Sounds stitch. Good. You would have dropped your green. And then we're going to place one single crochet into the next. Sounds right. In the next 11 stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then in the next stitch we're going to color change. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two purple loops on our hook. So then we're going to pick up our pink yarn. We're going to yarn over with the pink, pull that through the two purple loops. We're going to carry the purple. We're going to do one single crochet in pink and color change. So you'll go under that diagonal bar and then insert into the pink stitch. We're going to carry carry the purple. We're going to put one single crochet in the pink, but we're going to color change. So we're going to we pull through the pink and then we'll have two pink loops on our hook. We're going to drop the pink. So we're going to drop the pink. We're going to pick up the purple. We're going to yarn over, pull that through the two loops. Okay, you can drop the pink. We won't be needing it. Then you're just going to place one single crochet in the remaining five stitches. Okay. Sounds dry. So now moving on to the next stitch, we're going to place one single crochet into the first four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and then we're going to color change in the next stitch. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through with the purple. We are, we'll have two purple loops on a hook. You're going to pick up the pink, yarn over with the pink, and you'll pull through those two loops on your hook. You'll pull through the two purple loops on your hook. Okay. Then for the next stitch, we're going to go under that diagonal bar over here. And then you're going to insert into that stitch, working over your purple yarn. You're going to put one single crochet in there. And then in the next stitch, we're going to color, we're going to put one single crochet and color change. So we will insert with the pink, yarn over, pull through, we'll stop there, we'll have two pink loops on a hook. We're going to change back to purple. So we're going to yarn over with the purple, and then pull through the two pink loops on a hook. Yeah, then we can drop, we can drop the pink, we won't be needing it, and then you can just place one single crochet in the remaining, I think it's 10 stitches, or in the... You can just carry on crocheting until the second to last stitch of purple. Okay, and then in the next stitch we're going to color change back to green. So we are going to you're going to insert into the next stitch with the purple. We're going to yarn over with the purple. You'll have two purple loops on your hook. Then you're going to pick up your green. You're going to yarn over with the green. Pull that through the two purple loops on your hook. Okay, you're going to drop the purple. You're going to go under that diagonal bar over there. And then you're going to place one single crochet in the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch, we're going to color change. So we're going to insert. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull through. You're going to stop there. We'll have two green loops on a hook. You're going to pick up the blue. Gonna yarn over with the blue, pull that through. Tug on your green, we're gonna carry the green yarn. This next stitch, we're gonna put one blue and color change. So we're gonna go under that diagonal bar, we're gonna insert into the stitch, pull through, we're gonna stop there. We'll have two blue loops on our hook. We're gonna have two blue loops on our hook, and then we are going to drop the blue. Then we're gonna pick up the green, yarn over, and pull through those two blue loops. Tug on the blue, you're gonna carry. Sorry, Allah. We are actually going to. We're not gonna. Okay, after you've color changed to blue, we're gonna 
carry the green yarn but we're going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches so it's one two three four five six seven and then in this next stitch we're going to color change okay so we're going to insert we're going to yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on a hook we're going to drop the blue pick up the green so we're going to yarn over with the green pull through those two loops tug on the blue and you can drop the blue we won't be needing it and then you'll place one single crochet in the remaining five stitches okay Yep. So for this next next row, we're going to place one single crochet in the first four, and then we're going to color change in the next stitch. So that's three, four, and then in the next stitch, we're going to color change to blue. So we'll insert, and over pull through, we'll have two green loops on a hook. We're going to pick up the blue, yarn over, and pull through those two green loops. You'll tug on the green, and then you'll go under that diagonal bar again, and then you'll place one single crochet. In the next seven stitches and you'll carry your green yarn okay okay and now we are ready to color change back to green so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on our hook and then we're going to yarn over with the green so we're going to pick up the green yarn over pull through Okay, you're going to pull through those two blue loops in your hook. And then you're going to place one single crochet in the next four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then you'll color change in the next stitch. So you'll insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two green loops on your hook. You're going to pick up your purple. And you're going to yarn over. And you're going to pull through those two green loops on your hook. You'll drop your green. And then... For this row, you'll place one single crochet, or for this purple side, you're going to place one single crochet in each stitch across um, until you get to the end. We can trim down the pink because we won't be needing it. You can trim that down. You can also trim the blue because we're done working with the blue for now. So you're just going to trim it. Okay, I think I trimmed that one a bit too short, but that's fine. Okay. So you can carry on putting one single crochet in each stitch across for this for this row okay okay so now moving on to the next row we're going to place one single crochet into the first four stitches so that's one two three four and then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we're going to insert with the purple yarn over pull through you'll have two purple loops on your hook you're going to drop your purple then you're going to pick up your pink okay you're going to yarn over with your pink you're going to pull that through those two purple loops okay and then we're going to work over this pink tail end and the purple and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches okay And then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we are going to insert into that next stitch we're going to yarn over pull through so we're going to yarn over pull through then we'll have two pink loops on our hook we're going to drop the pink and then we're going to pick up the purple okay so we're going to yarn over with the purple we're going to pick that up yarn over pull through those two pink loops on your hook tug on your pink you can drop the pink we don't we don't need it anymore then you're going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches and then we're going to color change okay and then in the next stitch we're going to color change to green so you're going to insert yarn over pull through you'll have two purple loops on your hook you're going to drop your purple pick up your green tug on the on the purple a little bit Okay, you're going to drop your purple, you don't need it, and then you're going to place one single crochet in each stitch to the end. Okay. So you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch until you get to the end of this row. 
Okay. Okay. So now moving on to the next row, we are going to place one single crochet into the first four. So it's one, two, three, four, and then we're going to color change in the next stitch. So we're going to insert, we're going to over pull through, we'll have two green loops on a hook. We're going to drop the green, we're going to pick up our blue yarn. So we're going to yarn over and pull that through those two, two green loops. We're going to carry the blue yarn and we're going to carry the green. Well, we're going to work over the blue yarn, sorry. Okay, so you're going to carry the green and you're going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches and then we'll color change again. Okay. Sounds right. Okay, so now we're going to color change in the next stitch. So we're going to insert with the blue, yarn over with the blue, we'll have two blue loops on our hook. We're going to drop the blue. Then we're going to pick up the green. We're going to yarn over with the green, pull that through those two blue loops. We're going to tug on our green a little bit. And then we are going to place one single crochet in the next four stitches. So you can drop the blue, you won't be needing it right now. Okay, and then in the next stitch we're going to color change to purple. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two green loops on a hook. We'll drop our green, pick up our purple, going to yarn over and pull through the green, you're going to drop, sorry, pull through the purple, tug on your green, okay, you're going to drop your green, you won't be needing it, then you're going to insert, so you're going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches, so that was one, two, oopsie, two, three, four, and then we're going to color change in the next stitch, so we're going to insert, Going over pull through we'll have two purple loops on a hook we're going to drop the purple and then we're going to pick up the pink yarn over with the pink pull that through those two purple loops okay and then in this next stitch we're going to color change and do one single crochet so in this next stitch we're going to insert under that diagonal bar and then we are going to insert into the stitch going to insert into the stitch going to carry the purple so you're going to put that over your hook you're going to yarn over pull that through and then you'll have two pink loops on, on your hook you're going to drop the pink you're going to pick up the purple so you're going to yarn over the purple pull that through those two pink loops tug on your pink and then we're going to carry we're going to carry the pink so we're going to carry yeah carry the pink and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches no sorry into the next five stitches three four five and then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we are going to insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on a hook okay we're going to drop the purple pick up the pink so we're going to yarn over pull that through the two purple the, through the two purple loops okay so in this next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet and color change. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through, and then we'll have um, we'll have two pink loops on a hook. We're going to drop the pink. So we're going to drop the pink, pick up the purple. So we're going to yarn over, pull that through the two pink loops. Okay, you can drop your pink. We won't be needing it. And then you're going to place one single crochet in the remaining remaining five stitches. Okay. Yeah. all right so now moving on to the next stitch we're gonna place one single crochet into the first four stitches one two three four and then we're going to color change in the next stitch so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we we'll have two purple loops on a hook you're going to drop the purple pick up the pink you're going to yarn over pull through those two purple loops in this next stitch we're going to do one single crochet in pink and color change so we are going to insert under that diagonal bar into that stitch you're going to yarn over pull through the pink you'll have two pink loops on your hook you're going to drop the pink and then you're going to pick up your purple so you're going to yarn over with the purple and pull that through those two pink loops you're going to carry your pink and then you're going to place one single crochet one single crochet into the next five stitches 
that's one two three four five and then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook and then we are going to yarn over with the pink so we're going to yarn over with the pink pull through the two purple loops on our hook okay and then we are going to um color change in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet and color change so we're going to carry over that purple we're going to insert into the next stitch carry that purple we're going to yarn over pull through you'll have two pink loops on the hook you'll drop the pink come on you'll drop the pink and pick up the purple okay so you're going to yarn over pull through those two pink loops on your hook you're going to tug on your pink you're going to drop your pink you don't need it and then you'll place one single crochet in the next four stitches and then we'll color change to green okay so in this next stitch we're going to color change so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on a hook and then we'll pick up the green yarn over and pull that through the two purple loops you're going to drop your purple don't need it and then you're going to go under that diagonal bar that you see there you go under there and then in the stitch and then you're going to do one single crochet and then you're going to put one single crochet in the first in the first seven stitches so that's one two three four five and then you're going to carry the yarn from here okay so five go under there to carry it five six just tug on that a bit that's one two three four five six seven and then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we will have two green loops on a hook we're going to drop the green and then we're going to pick up the blue so we're going to yarn over pull that through the two blue loops okay so that's one two three and then we are going to put one single crochet in the next stitch with the blue and then in this next stitch we're going to color kind of change so we're going to insert and over pull through we'll have two blue loops on our hook and then we are going to color change back to green so we're going to yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops okay we can drop um can call it we can drop the blue we don't need it and then you're just going to place one single crochet in the remaining stitches until you get uh, to the end of the row okay Alright, so now moving on to the next row, we are again going to place one single crochet into the first seven stitches and then we're going to, going to color change. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then in this next stitch we are going to color change. Okay, so we are going to insert in the next stitch, we're going to yarn over, pull through. Um, you'll have two green loops on a hook. We're going to pick up the blue yarn. You're going to yarn over, pull that through the two green loops. You'll tug on your green yarn. Okay, and then you'll go under that diagonal bar that you see there. You go under there. And then into that stitch, you're going to carry your green yarn. And then you're going to do a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we are going to color change. So we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two blue loops on your hook. You're going to drop your blue, pick up the green. So you're going to yarn over and pull through with the green. You're going to pull through those two blue loops. Okay. And then you can drop the blue. We don't need it. And then you'll place one single crochet in the next seven stitches. And then we'll color change in the next stitch. Okay. And then... Okay, so in the next stitch we're going to color change back to purple so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook you're going to yarn out we're going to pick up the purple and we're going to yarn over with the purple and pull that through the two green loops 
can drop your green you don't need it need it you're going to go under that vertical that diagonal bar there i'm going to go under there and then in the first stitch i'm going to place one single crochet in the first four so that was one and then two three and then four and then in this next stitch we're going to color change we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook then we're going to pick up our pink we're going to yarn over pull through pull through the two purple loops on a hook okay we're going to carry the the purple yeah the purple yarn we're going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches so that's one two three four five six seven and this then in this next stitch we are going to color change so we are going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on our hook and then we are going to yarn over with the purple so we're going to yarn over with the purple pull through those two pink loops then we're going to tug on the pink and then you'll put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches okay see So now you can cut the pink, you don't need that anymore. So you can just leave a bit of a tail, Sounds cut the pink, then we can move on to the next row. Okay. So for the next row, we are going to place one single crochet into each stitch across for the whole um, of the purple section. So you'll basically put one single crochet into the first 17 stitches and then in the last stitch of the purple we will color change okay okay so now in the next stitch we are going to color change so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on a hook you'll drop the purple and then we're going to pick up the green okay so we're going to pick up the green yarn over pull through the two purple loops tug on your purple You'll drop the purple, we don't need that, so we will go under that diagonal loop and then into the, the stitch and then you'll place one single crochet in the first four stitches. So that was one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch we will color, color change. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two green loops on our hook. You will drop the green, pick up the blue. So we're gonna yarn over and pull that through through those two green loops. We'll carry our green yarn and we'll work over this blue over here. Okay. So we're gonna carry the green and then we're gonna place one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So that's one, two, three. And then again, go under that diagonal loop three, four, five, six, seven, and then in the next stitch we are going to color change. Okay, so we are going to insert with the blue, yarn over with the blue, we'll have two blue loops on a hook, we will drop the blue, so we will drop the blue, pick up the green, you're going to yarn over and pull through those two blue loops. Okay, you can drop the blue, we don't need it. And then you're going to pl place one single crochet in the remaining five stitches. Sounds okay. And then we can also cut the blue yarn now because we don't need that anymore. Okay, so you can just take your scissors, you can cut it. Okay. Sounds now we're going to move on to the next row. So for this next row, we are just going to place one single crochet in the first 17 stitches of the green. So we're not going to do any color changing in this row. Okay, so you can put one single crochet into the first 17 or in the second to last stitch of the green. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to color change in the next stitch. So we're going to insert 
your Nova pull through, we'll have two green loops on our hook. We'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the purple. So we're going to yarn over, pull through the two green loops on our hook. Sounds yeah, good. so we're going to drop the green, we don't need it. And then we're going to go under that diagonal bar that you see there and then into the stitch. And we're going to place four ones in crochet in the next four. So there was one. One, two, three, and four, and then we're going to color change in the next. So, let's see. Right. So, we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, then we'll have two purple loops on hook. We're going to stop there, then we're going to grab our pink, we're going to put that over our hook, and then you're going to yarn over and pull that through, um, through those two purple loops. And then we're going to carry the purple and we're going to work over our pink tail end. So we're just going to yarn over and do a single crochet in there. And then we're going to put one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then in the next stitch we will color change. So we will insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two pink loops on our hook. We will drop the pink and we'll pick up the purple. So we're going to yarn over with the purple, going to yarn over and pull that through the two pink loops on your hook. You're going to tug on, you're going to tug on your pink and then you're going to place one single crochet in the remaining five stitches. Okay, so you would have dropped your pink, you don't. So now moving on to the next row, we are going to place one single crochet into the first four stitches. Sounds right. And then we'll color change in the next stitch. So we will insert, you're going to pull through, we'll have two purple loops on our hook. We will drop the purple, pick up the pink. So we're going to yarn over and pull the pink through those two purple loops on our hook. We're going to tug on our purple, we're going to carry the purple. So, we're, so in this next stitch we're going to place one pink single crochet and we'll color change. So we'll go under that diagonal bar and then into, into the stitch we're going to yarn over, pull through, we'll stop there, we'll have two pink loops on our hook, we will drop our pink, we'll pick up our purple again. So we're going to yarn over and pull the pink, sorry, pull the purple through the pink. Okay, you're going to tug on your pink yarn and then we're going to work over the pink and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next five stitches so that's one two come on one two three four five and then in the next stitch we will color change okay so we will insert yarn over pull through We'll have two purple loops on our hook. We will drop the purple. Sorry, let me just do that again. We will drop the purple. We'll drop the purple. And then pick up the pink. So we're going to yarn over with the pink and pull that through those two purple loops. Okay, we'll carry over our purple. And in this next pink stitch, we're going to put one, one, one single crochet and we'll color change. So we'll insert over pull through we'll have two pink loops on our hook we will drop the pink and then pick up the purple so we'll yarn over and pull through those two pink loops with the purple we'll tug on the pink we'll drop the pink because we don't need it and then we'll place one single crochet in the next four stitches and then we'll color change so in the next stitch you will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook then we're going to take the green yarn you're going to take the green, then you're going to yarn over and pull that through the two purple loops. You're going to tug your purple, then you're going to drop it, and then you're going to put one single crochet under that diagonal stitch there, or that loop, and then in through that stitch. Okay, and then you'll place one single crochet in the first four, so that was one, two, three, and four. And then in this next stitch we'll color change to blue. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two green loops on our hook. Sounds then we will get our blue yarn, put that on our hook, 
and then we're going to yarn over and pull through those two green loops. Tug on your green. Okay, so we are going to, in this next stitch, we are going to work over this, this uh, green tail end. So we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch and color change. So we will insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You will have two blue loops on our hook. We will drop the blue and then pick up the green. So we're going to yarn over, pull that, pull the green loop, green yarn through the two blue loops. Tug on your blue. And then you will carry your blue yarn. So I'm actually going to leave the tail end dangling there. And then you're going to work over your blue yarn though. So you're going to place one single crochet into the next five stitches. Sorry, to the next five. So that's three, three, four, five, and then we'll color, sorry. Yeah, then we'll color change in the next stitch. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two green loops on our hook. We will drop the green and then pick up the blue. So we're going to yarn over with the blue and then pull the blue through those two green loops. We'll tug on our green yarn. We will carry our green. In this next stitch, we'll place one blue and color change. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through with the blue. We'll have two blue loops on a hook. We will drop the blue and then pick up the green. So we'll yarn over with the green and pull that through the two blue loops. Okay, and tug on the blue. You can drop the blue, we don't need it, we, we won't work over it. And then you'll just place one single crochet in the remaining five stitches. Okay. Okay, so for this next row, we are just going to place one single crochet in the first four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch, we'll color change. So we'll insert. Yarn over, pull through, we'll have two green loops on a hook. We'll drop the green, then we'll pick up the blue. So we'll yarn over with the blue and pull that through the two green loops on our hook. We'll tug on our green, we'll carry our green yarn. And then we will go under that diagonal bar there into the stitch. So we'll put once and crochet and color change in here. So we will yarn over, pull through, we'll stop there with the two blue loops on a hook. We'll drop the blue and then pick up the green again. Okay. So you'll pick up the green. So you'll yarn over and pull through those two blue loops on your hook. Then you'll carry your blue yarn and then you'll place one single crochet into the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then in this next stitch, we will color change. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two green loops on our hook. And then we'll drop the green. So let's move that aside. And we'll pick up the blue. We're going to yarn over and pull through those two green loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over, pull it through those two green loops. We'll tug on our green a bit. And then we are going to go into this next stitch. We'll do one single crochet and color change. So we'll insert. Yarn over, pull through, we'll stop there. We'll have two two blue loops on our hook. We'll stop there. So we'll stop there. And we'll yarn over with the green. Yarn over and pull that through the two blue loops on your hook. Like that. Okay. And then we can drop the blue. We won't need it. And then we'll just place one single crochet in the next four stitches and then we'll color change so that's one two so that's one two three four and then in the fifth stitch we'll color change so we will insert you know we'll pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the purple so we'll yarn over and pull that through the two green loops We'll tug on our green, we'll drop the green, we don't need that, go under that diagonal bar and the stitch, and then you'll place one single crochet in the first four. So that's one, two, three, four, and then we'll color change in the next. So we will 
insert, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two purple loops on a hook. We'll drop the purple, pick up the blue, so we'll yarn over and then pull that through the two purple loops on a hook. Then we're going to do the same for the other side. So, so we're going to do one single crochet in here and color change, working over the purple. So we're going to go under that diagonal bar, into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two pink loops on your hook. You'll drop the pink, so you'll drop the pink, pick up the purple, you'll, you'll, you'll yarn over and pull through the two pink loops on your hook. And you'll tug on the pink, then you'll carry your pink yarn and you'll put one single crochet into the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four and five. And then in the next stitch we'll color change. So we'll insert, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two purple loops on our hook. We'll drop the purple and then we'll pick up the pink. So we'll yarn over and pull that through the two pink lip, purple loops on a hook. We will work over our purple for this next stitch and again we'll insert, yarn over, pull through, we'll stop there. We'll have two pink loops on our hook. We'll drop the pink again and then pick up the purple. So we'll yarn over and pull the purple through those two pink loops. We'll drop the pink, we don't need it, and then you'll work the remaining uh, the remaining five stitches. Okay. So it should be beginning to look something like this now. We are like in the middle of the pencil case now. So we have C R O C T and then we have C H E T the side. Okay, so we're like about halfway or nearly halfway. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next row. Okay, so for this next row, we are going to place one single crochet in the first four again. So it's one, two, three, and four. And then in the next stitch, we'll color change to pink. So we will insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two purple loops on our hook. We will drop the purple, pick up the pink. So we will yarn over and then pull through the two purple loops on our hook. And then in this next stitch, we will go under that diagonal stitch, that, that diagonal loop. We'll work over our purple. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll stop there. We'll have two pink loops on our hook. We'll drop the pink and then we'll pick up the purple. I'm going to yarn over and then pull the purple through those two pink loops on your hook. Then we'll work over, um, we'll work over the pink yarn again, and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the next stitch we'll color change. So we'll insert, you know, we'll pull through. We'll have two purple loops on a hook. We'll drop the purple, pick up the pink. So we'll yarn over and pull that through the two purple loops on our hook. And then in this next stitch, we will cut, we will carry our purple. So we're going to yarn over, pull through. We'll have two pink loops on our hook. We'll we will drop the pink, and then we will pick up the purple. So we'll yarn over and then pull through those two pink loops on your hook. Yeah, and then we can drop the purple. Oh, sorry, we can drop the pink. We don't need it anymore. And then we're just going to place one single crochet into the next four and then in the next stitch we'll color change to green so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook we'll drop our purple we'll pick up the green so you need yarn over and pull through those two purple loops on our hook then we'll go under that diagonal loop and in the stitch and then we'll put one single crochet into um, the first four, so there was one, two, three, four, and then we'll color change on the next. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two green loops on our hook. We'll have two green loops on our hook. So we'll drop the green, and then we'll pick up the blue, 
So we'll yarn over and pull that through the two green, whoopsie, we'll pull that through the two green loops on our hook. So we'll yarn over, pull through those two green loops, you'll tug on our green. And again, in this next stitch, we'll go under that diagonal bar, we will yarn over, pull through, we'll have two blue loops on our hook. We'll drop the blue, pick up the green, gonna yarn over the green and pull that through those two blue loops. Then we'll carry the blue yarn. So in this in the next six five stitches, sorry, we'll place one single crochet. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And you should carry the blue yarn. Okay. In the next stitch we'll colour change. So we will insert yarn over pull through. So we'll have two green loops on our hook. Okay, so we'll drop we'll drop the green, pick up the blue, so we're gonna yarn over, pull the blue through those green those two green loops. We'll tug on our green, we're gonna yarn we're gonna insert, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two blue loops on our hook. We'll drop the blue and then pick up the green. So we'll yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops. Okay, you can drop your blue, you won't need that anymore. And then and continue putting one single crochet in the remaining five stitches. Okay. And then you can go ahead and you can cut the pink yarn because you don't need it anymore. Okay, so you can just cut that like that, move that aside. Okay, and then you can move on to the next row. Okay. So for this next row, we're going to place one single crochet into the first four again. So that's one, two, three, four. And then we'll color change in the next. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two green loops on a hook. We'll drop the green, pick up the blue. So we'll yarn over and pull the blue through those two green loops. We'll carry the green yarn. So we'll go under that diagonal yarn, that yarn diagonal loop, and then into this stitch. And then we'll place one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So that's one, two, three, and you're working over the green yarn. Four, five, six, seven. And then in the next stitch, we'll color change back to green. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through, we will have two blue loops on a hook, we will drop the blue, and then we'll pick up the green. So we will, we will yarn over and pull the green through those two loops. Okay, we can drop the blue because we don't need that anymore. And then you can put one single crochet in the next four stitches, three and four. Then we can kind of change in the next. So we can insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two green loops on our hook. Then we'll pick up the purple, yarn over, and pull the purple through those two green loops. Okay. And then you can just place one single crochet in each stitch. Oopsie. Until each stitch until you get to the end of the purple row. Okay. okay, so now we can just take our scissors and we can cut our blue. So you just want to cut the blue, move that out of the way. And then moving on to the next stitch, we are going to put one single crochet into the first four. So that's one, two, three, four, and then we'll color change in the next stitch. So in the next stitch, we're just going to insert, yarn over, pull three, we'll have two purple loops on our hook. We will drop the purple and then pick up the pink. So we will yarn over and then pull the pink through those two purple loops. Okay, and then we will carry the purple yarn. So we'll go into the next stitch, and then we'll put a single crochet in there, and then we'll put a single crochet into the next seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, oopsie, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll color change in the next stitch. So we will insert yarn over pull three. We would have two pink loops on a hook. So we'll drop the pink and then pick up the purple. So we will yarn over and pull the purple through through those two pink loops on your hook. Okay, tug on your pink. And then you're going to place one single crochet into the next four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch you'll color change. So you will insert on your insert you will never pull through you'll have two purple loops on your hook you'll drop your purple then you'll pick up your green yeah you'll pick up your green and then you're going to yarn over with your green and you're going to you're going to pull that through the two purple loops on your hook you tug on your purple then you drop the purple you don't need it and then you go under that diagonal bar and then you'll place one single crochet into each stitch of the green until you get to the end and then we'll go on to the next row okay okay so now moving on to the next row we're going to place one single crochet into the first four so it's one two three four and then we'll color change in the next so we will insert yarn over pull three we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the blue so we'll yarn over yarn over and pull the blue through those two two green loops we will carry our green yarn and then we'll just place one single crochet into the next seven stitches so this one two three Three, four, five, six, and then seven. And then in the next stitch we will color change. So we will insert yarn over pull three. We'll have two blue loops on a hook. We'll drop the blue and then pick up the green. So we'll yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops. Tug on your blue. And then you'll drop your blue because you don't need it and then you'll put one single crochet into the remaining well into the first four stitches or in the next four and then we'll color change in the next so we will insert yarn over pull three we'll have two green loops you'll drop the green then you'll pick up your purple so you'll you'll yarn over and pull the purple through those green those two green loops You'll tug on your green then you'll drop the green you don't need it go under that diagonal bar and then you'll put one single crochet in the next four so that's one two three four actually now you'll put it in the next six stitches sorry in the next seven so it's one two three four five and then we'll pick up the pink from here little tail end we don't need you and then we'll go into the stitch above so we're just carrying carrying our working yarn our pink working yarn so it's one two three four five one two three four five six then we'll go into the next stitch okay and then in the next stitch we will color change let me just do this one again so we'll color change so we're going to the next stitch insert yarn over pull three we'll have two purple loops on a hook we will drop the purple pick up the green so we'll yarn over with the sorry did i say green we'll pick up the pink <laughs> so we'll yarn over with the pink and pull the pink through those two purple loops yeah we'll carry the purple so we'll put one single crochet in the next stitch with the pink and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on our hook we'll drop the pink pick up the purple yarn over with the purple pull the purple through those two uh 
pink loop so you'll drop your pink you don't need it and then you'll put one single crochet and the remaining seven sorry remaining eight stitches okay so now moving on to the next row we're going to put one single crochet into the first seven that's one two three four five six seven and then in the next stitch we are going to color change so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook you'll drop the purple pick up the pink so we're going to yarn over pull that through the two purple loops on your hook you're going to carry the purple and we're going to go under that diagonal stitch i'm going to put a one single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll color change in the next so we will insert yarn over pull three we would have two um two pink loops on our hook we'll drop the pink pick up the purple okay and you'll pull your purple through those two pink loops and then you'll put one single crochet into the next seven stitches and then we'll color change into the next okay okay so now we are going to color change in the next stitch so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we would have two purple loops on our hook we'll drop the purple pick up the green so we will yarn over and pull the green through those two purple loops tug on the purple we'll drop the purple we don't need it and then we'll put one single crochet into the first four so it's one two three four and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on our hook we'll drop the green oopsie we'll drop the green and then pick up the blue so we will pick up the blue so we'll yarn over and pull the blue through the green the green loops and we'll carry the green yarn so in this first stitch we will color change so we will insert under that diagonal bar insert yarn over pull through you'll have two blue loops on your hook you'll drop the blue sorry you'll drop the blue and then you'll pick up the green so you'll yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops tug on your blue and then you'll carry your blue yarn so you put one single crochet to the next five stitches so that's one two three four five and then in the next stitch we'll color change back to blue so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on our hook we'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the blue so we will yarn over and pull the blue through those two green loops tug on your green we'll carry the green so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have the two blue loops on our hook we will drop the blue pick up the green so we will yarn over with the green and then pull the green through those two blue loops okay tug on your blue and you can drop your blue because you don't need it and then you put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches Okay. Yeah. So now for the next row. Okay. So for this next row, we are just gonna place one single crochet in the first four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch, we'll color change. So we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green then we'll pick up the blue so we'll yarn over yarn over pull the blue through those two green loops tug on a green you'll work the green yarn we'll carry the green yarn sorry so we will go under that diagonal loop into the stitch then we'll yarn over with the blue then we'll stop there and we'll have the two blue loops on a hook then we will color change back to green so we're going to yarn over with the green so we're going to yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops okay i'm going to tug on your blue and then you're going to carry the blue yarn 
and you're going to put one single crochet into the next five stitches three four and five and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have um, we'll have two green loops on our hook so we will drop the green pick up the blue so we will yarn over pull the blue through those two green loops we'll carry the blue sorry we'll carry the green we'll insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through we will stop there we'll have two blue loops on our hook you'll drop the blue pick up the green we'll yarn over pull the green through those two loops okay then we'll drop the blue because we don't need it and then we'll put one single crochet into the next four stitches so that's one two three four and then we'll color change in the next so we will insert you'll never pull through we'll have two green loops on our hook we'll drop the green pick up the purple so we will yarn over and pull the purple through those two green loops you'll drop the green go under that diagonal bar and then you'll put one single crochet into the next four so that's one two three four and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll stop there we'll have the two purple loops on a hook we'll drop the purple and then we'll pick up the pink so we're going to yarn over and pull the pink through through those two loops you'll tug on the purple yarn we'll carry the purple and we'll work over this pink loop here so we will put one single crochet into the next seven so that's one one two three and we're working over that pink loop then we're going to go under that diagonal stitch and into that next stitch so that's one two three four five six and seven and then in the next stitch we'll color change back to purple so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on a hook we will drop the pink and pick up the purple so we're going to yarn over pull the purple through those two pink loops and then we will put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches okay so now it's beginning to say the word crochet so it just needs the h so we have the h and then we just need the et and then we're basically done well for this side and then for this side we will just need we just need to finish the O and then the CH. No, the CR. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So we need it in. Okay. So let's go into the next row. Okay. Okay. So we can actually just get rid of this pink yarn right here from coming from the H because we are actually finished with it. So we can just cut that off, move that aside, and then for this next row we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch well into the next 17 stitches or the second to last stitch of the purple side and then we'll color change in the last stitch okay okay so now we're going to, going to color change into the next stitch so we're going to insert Yarn over pull through, we'll stop there, we'll have the two purple loops on our hook, we'll drop our purple, then we'll pick up the green. So we're gonna yarn over with the green and then pull the green through those two purple loops. We're gonna yarn over, pull it through the two purple loops. Okay, and then we're gonna go under that diagonal bar and we're gonna put one single crochet in the next four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll stop there we'll have the two green loops on our hook we will drop the green and then we'll pick up the blue so we're going to yarn over and pull the blue through those two green loops okay. and then we're going to work over our green yarn 
and we're gonna go under that diagonal bar and then we're gonna go we're gonna put sorry one single crochet into the next seven stitches and then we'll color change again so that's three four five six seven and then we will color change so I'm like, yeah color change in the next stitch so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have the two loops on our hook two blue loops so we will drop the blue pick up the green so we'll yarn over with the green and pull that through those two blue loops and then we'll place one single crochet into the remaining five stitches okay let me just do that again to the remaining five stitches okay and then we can move on to the next row okay so now we can get rid of the blue yarn because now we don't need that so we can just get our scissors and we can just trim down the blue and you can move on to the next row okay so now moving on to the next row um we are just going to place one single crochet into every stitch or into the next 17 stitches of the green side until we get to the second to last stitch of the green side and then we'll color change to purple okay okay so now we are going to color change to purple so in the next stitch we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green and then pick up the purple so we will yarn over and pull through those two green loops on our hook and then we'll drop the green because we don't need it and then we'll place one single crochet in the first four going under that first diagonal bar so that's one two three four and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert you know pull through we'll stop there and we'll have the two purple loops on a hook we'll stop there we'll drop we'll drop the purple and then pick up the pink so we're going to yarn over and pull the pink through those two loops okay and then we're going to carry the purple so we're just going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches and then we'll color change so that's one two three and then in the next stitch we will color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have the two pink loops on a hook we'll drop the pink and then we'll pick up the purple yeah so we'll take our purple we're going to yarn over and pull the purple through those two pink loops on a hook and you're going to tug the pink you're going to drop the pink and then you're going to put one single crochet in the remaining in the remaining five stitches okay now to move on to the next row okay so now moving into the next row you're just going to place one single crochet into the first four stitches there's one two three four and then in the next stitch you will color change so you will insert yarn over pull through you'll have the two purple loops on your hook we'll drop the purple pick up the pink so you'll pick up the pink and get that tail end out the way okay so you'll take your pink and then you'll you'll yarn over and pull the pink through those two purple loops and then you're going to carry your purple so you're going to go under your that diagonal loop and then you're just going to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches and then we'll color change there's one two three four five six seven and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will 
insert your to pull through we'll have two pink loops on a hook we'll drop the pink and then we'll pick up the purple so we will yarn over and pull the purple through the two pink loops on our hook we're going to tug our pink and then we'll drop the pink because we don't need it and then we'll place one single crochet into the next four stitches and then we'll color change to green so we will insert yarn over pull three we'll have the two um two purple loops on our hook we'll drop the purple pick up the green and then we're going to yarn over and pull the green through those two purple loops tug on a purple then we'll drop the purple because we don't need it and then we'll put one single crochet into the next I think it was 12 stitches so into the next 10 stitches and then we'll color change into the, into the 11 so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have the two green loops on our hook so we'll drop the green then we'll get our blue put the blue on our hook so we will yarn over and pull the blue through those two those two green loops and we'll carry the green so we'll put one single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll color change in the next so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on our hook we'll drop the blue and then pick up the green so we will yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops okay then we will drop the blue because we don't need it so i've just tugged on that blue yarn and i've dropped it behind and then you'll just put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches and then we'll move on to the next row okay okay so now moving on to the next row we're going to put one single crochet into the first five so it's one two three four sorry into the first four one two three four and then in the fifth stitch we'll color change so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have the two green loops on our hook we'll drop the green loop pick up the blue going to yarn over and pull the blue through those okay so now we are going to color change into the next stitch so you're going to go under that diagonal loop we're going to go into that stitch you're going to yarn over pull through we're going to stop there we'll have the two blue loops on a hook we'll stop there and then we'll we'll drop the blue and then pick up the green and then we will yarn over and pull the green through uh, through those two blue loops and then we'll drop the blue we don't need it and then we'll place one single crochet into the next 11 stitches so it's one two three four Six, seven, whoopsie, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. So now in the next stitch we're going to color change. So we are going to insert yarn over pull through. We'll have two green loops on a hook. We'll drop our green. Let me get my camera to focus. We'll drop our green yarn. And then we'll pick up the purple so we'll yarn over and pull the purple through the two loops of the green we'll tug the green and then we'll drop the green and then we'll place one single crochet in the next four so that's one two three and four and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook and then we're going to drop our purple we're going to yarn over with the pink so we're going to yarn over and pull the pink through those two purple loops 
and then we'll carry the purple so in the next stitch we're going to go under that diagonal loop into the next stitch we're going to yarn over pull the pink loop through we'll have two pink loops on our hook we'll drop the pink pick up the purple so we'll yarn over and pick and pull the purple through the two pink loops on your hook then we'll place one single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to carry our pink so we're going to have one single crochet in the next stitch and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook then we'll drop our purple and then we'll pick up our pink so we're going to yarn over and pull the pink through those two loops on your hook and then you're going to carry the purple so in the next stitch you're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch and then in the next stitch we'll color chain so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on our hook we'll drop our pink and then we'll pick up the purple so we'll yarn over and pull the purple through those two pink loops on our hook tug on our pink we're going to carry our pink so we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook and then we will pick up we will pick up the pink yarn and then we will yarn over and pull the pink through those two purple loops we're going to carry the purple in the next stitch we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on our hook we'll drop our pink pick up the purple so we're going to yarn over and pull the purple through those two pink loops we're going to tug on our purple and then we're going to place one single crochet in the remaining four stitches so this one sorry remaining five okay i'm going to move on to the next row Okay, so now moving on to the next row, we're just going to place one single crochet into the first four stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then in the next stitch, we are going to color change. So we are going to insert yarn over, pull through. We'll have two purple loops on our hook. We'll drop the purple, pick up the pink. So we're going to yarn over and pull the pink through those two purple loops. And then we'll carry our purple in the next stitch we're going to go under that diagonal loop into the stitch we're going to go over the purple yarn go and carry the purple yarn sorry so we're going to pull the pink through we're going to stop there we'll have two pink loops on a hook we'll drop the pink pick up the purple so we're going to yarn over and pull um we're going to pull the two purple loops through the pink and then we're going to place one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to place sorry then we're going to color change on the next so we're going to insert we're going to have a pull through we'll have two purple loops on a hook we'll drop the purple pick up the pink so we're going to yarn over with the pink and pull the pink through those two purple loops okay so we are now going to carry the purple yarn so now in the next stitch we're going to just place one single crochet and then in the next stitch we're going to color change so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on a hook we will drop the pink and we're going to pull up the purple so we're going to yarn over and pull the purple through those two pink loops on our hook okay i'm going to tug on the pink and we're going to carry the pink yarn i'm going to place one single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll color change in the next so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on our hook we will drop the purple and pick up the pink so we're going to yarn over pull the pink through those two purple loops on our hook we'll carry the purple and then in the next stitch we are going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on our hook we will drop the pink and pick up the purple then we'll yarn over and pull the the purple through those two pink loops on a hook and then we'll put one single crochet into the next four stitches and then we'll color change in the next so we're going to insert yarn over pull through and then we'll have the two purple loops on our hook and then we're going to pick up our green and then we're going to yarn over and pull the green through those two loops 
tag on the purple you'll drop the purple and then you're going to put uh, one single crochet into the next 11 stitches so that's one two three okay so you'll just put one single crochet into the next 11 stitches and then in the next stitch you will color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have the two green loops on a hook you'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the blue so we will yarn over and pull the blue through those two green loops okay. and then we are going to put one single crochet and color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on a hook we'll drop the blue and then we'll pick up the green so we will yarn over and pull the green through those two loops then we can drop the blue and then we'll put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches and then we can go on to the next row and you can also now um, get rid of the pink because we won't be needing that anymore you just take your scissors and then cut your pink yarn move that aside then we can move on to the next row okay so now we're going to move on to the next row and we are going to put one single crochet into the first four stitches that's one two three four and then we'll color change in the next stitch so we will insert yarn over pull three we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green pull up the purple sorry pull up the blue sorry not the purple sorry move the camera okay so we're going to yarn over with the blue and then we're going to pull the blue through those two green loops and then we'll carry the green yarn and we'll go under that diagonal bar over here and then we are going to put one single crochet in the next seven stitches so that's two three four five six seven and then we're going to color change in the next so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll drop the blue pick up the green okay right. so we're going to yarn over with the green and pull the green through those two blue loops you'll tug on our blue you can drop the blue because we don't need it Okay. Right. and then you'll put one single crochet in the next four stitches and then in the next stitch will color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on our hook we'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the purple so we will yarn over and pull the purple through those two green loops tug on your green and drop the green and then you'll just put one single crochet one single crochet into each stitch across until you get to the end of the row and then we'll move on to the next row and you can also cut off um, the blue yarn now because we don't we don't need the blue anymore. Okay, so let's just sorry. Let's just get this blue out of the way. Oh gosh. Okay, so now you can just finish crocheting off the purple and then we'll go on to the next row. Okay. Okay. So now moving on to the next row. You're just going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches and then we'll color change one two three four and then the next stitch we will we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on a hook we will drop the purple and then we'll pick up the pink we're just going to get the pink and then lay the pink on our hook and then we're just going to yarn over and pull the pink through the purple and then we're going to carry the purple so we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch see i'm going to put one single crochet in the next stitch and then in the next stitch we'll color change then so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on a hook we'll drop the pink pick up the purple okay 
Okay, and then you'll just put one single crochet into the remaining stitches until you get to the second to last stitch and then we'll color change in the last stitch okay Sounds dry. okay so now we're going to move on into the next stitch and we're going to color change in the next stitch so we're going to insert yarn over pull three we'll have two purple loops on a hook we'll drop Sounds the purple dry. and then we'll pick up the the green so we're going to yarn over and pull the green through those two purple loops we'll drop the purple because we don't need it we'll go under that diagonal bar and into the stitch and then you'll just place one single crochet into each stitch across until you get to the end of the row and then we'll go on to the next row okay Oops. all right okay so now i'm moving on to the next row we're going to place one single crochet into the first four so that's one two three four and then in the next stitch we will color change so we'll insert you over pull through we have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green and then we'll get our blue yarn if i can get the tail end of this okay so i'm just gonna yarn over and pull the blue through those two green loops and then in the next stitch we are come on we're going to carry our green yarn so in the next stitch we're going to insert we're going to yarn over and pull three we'll have two blue loops on a hook we'll drop the blue and then we'll pick up the green Okay, so we'll yarn over with the green and pull through those two blue loops we'll carry the blue yarn i'm just going to drop the tail behind but we'll carry that um that blue yarn so we will put one single crochet into the next five stitches and then we'll color change so that's one two three four five and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the blue so we will yarn over and pull the blue through those two green loops okay and then in the next stitch we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on the hook we'll drop the blue and then pick up the green and we'll yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops tug on the blue you can drop your blue because you won't be needing it and then we'll just put one single crochet into the next four stitches and then we'll color change and there's one two three four and then in the next stitch you'll color change so we'll insert you will never pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll stop there and then we'll pick up our purple and then we'll yarn over and pull the purple through those two green loops we'll drop our green and then we'll put one single crochet into the next um 11 stitches i think it is no we'll put it into the next 10 stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull three we'll have two purple loops on a hook we'll drop the purple and then we'll pick up the pink so we will yarn over and pull the pink through those two purple loops we'll carry the purple then we'll put one single crochet into the next stitch and then we'll put one single we'll, then we'll color change in the next stitch sorry so we'll insert you know pull through we'll have two pink loops on a hook we'll drop the pink and then we'll pick up the purple okay and then you drop the pink and then you'll just put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches and then we'll go on to the next stitch okay so now we're nearly done after this row we'll just have three more rows to do and then we can go on to closing the pencil case 
and putting in the other side of the pencil case. Okay. Okay. So now I'm moving on to the next row. We're going to place one single crochet into the first four. So that's one, two, three, four, and then we'll color change. So we'll insert yarn over, pull through. We'll have two purple loops on our hook. We'll drop the purple and then we'll pick up the pink. So we'll yarn over and pull the pink through those two loops of the purple. We will we'll, uh, work over our purple. So we'll carry the purple right. under that diagonal bar. And then in the next, you'll put one single crochet into the next seven stitches, carrying the purple. This one, two, three, four. Sounds Come on. Four. Five. Six, seven, and then in the next stitch we will color change. So we will insert, we'll yarn over, pull through. We'll have two pink loops on a hook. We'll drop the pink, and then we'll pick up. We will pick up the purple. So we'll yarn over and pull the purple through those two loops of the pink. So we'll drop the pink because we don't need that, and then we'll yarn over and sorry, not yarn over. We'll put one single crochet into the next four. And then in the next stitch we'll color change. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two purple loops on our hook. So we'll drop the purple. And then we'll pick up the green. And then we'll yarn over and pull the green through those two purple loops. You'll drop the purple. And then you'll put one single crochet in the next four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch we'll color change. So we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop our green and then we'll drop our green and then we'll take our blue and then we'll pull the blue through those two green loops we'll carry our green yarn and then in the next stitch we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on a hook and then we'll drop the blue and then we'll pick up the green so we're going to yarn over with the green and pull the green through those two loops. You're going to tug the blue and then you're going to carry the blue yarn. And then you're just going to put one single crochet into the next five. And then we'll color change. So we will insert yarn over pull three. We'll have two green, two green loops on a hook. We'll drop the green, pick up the blue. So we'll yarn over with the blue and pull the blue through those two green loops. And then we'll work over the, the green yarn. So we'll carry the green yarn. And then in the next stitch we'll insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two blue loops on a hook. We'll drop the blue and then pick up the green. So we'll yarn over with the green and pull the green through those two loops. Okay. And you'll drop the blue and then you'll put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches okay then you'll move on to the next row okay so now moving on to the next row we're going to put one single crochet into the next four so that's one two three four and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we will insert yarn over pull through we'll have two loops on our hook two green loops let me just make that loop tighter so we will yarn over and pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we will drop the green and then we'll pick up the blue so we'll yarn over pull the blue through those two green loops okay we'll carry the green yarn and then in the next stitch go under that diagonal loop and in the next stitch we are going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on a hook so we'll drop the blue and then we'll pick up the green so we will yarn over and pull the green through those two loops sorry this pencil case is getting a bit big now <laughs> okay so um now we're going to carry the blue and again we're just going to place one single crochet into the next five stitches so it's one two three 
four and five and then in the next stitch we'll color change so we'll insert you know if we pull through we'll have two green loops on a hook we'll drop the green and then pick up the blue so we'll drop the green and then we'll yarn over and pull the blue through those two green loops we'll carry the green yarn now and then we'll insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through we'll have two blue loops on a hook we'll drop the blue pick up the green so we've dropped the blue and now we're going to yarn over and pull the green through those two loops okay then we can drop the blue because we don't need that right now and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches and then we'll color change in the next so we'll insert yarn over pull through and then we'll drop the green and then we'll pick up the purple so we'll yarn over and pull the purple through those two loops two green loops okay you're going to drop your green and then you're going to place one single crochet into the next uh 10 stitches so one two three four five and then we our yarns coming out of we're just going to carry that so we're going to pick that up with our hook like that put that over our hook and go into the stitch like that and i'm going to yarn over and do a single crochet and i just want to tug that yarn so that it'll look like it's part of the work and then you'll just carry on crocheting the 10 stitches so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then in the next stitch you will color change so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two purple loops on a hook we'll drop the purple and then we'll pick up the pink so we'll yarn over and pull the pink through those two loops we'll carry the purple so we'll put one single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll color change in the next so we'll insert yarn over pull through we'll have two pink loops on a hook we'll drop the pink and then pick up the purple so we'll yarn over with the purple pull that through those two loops yeah. and then we'll put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches and then we can move on to the last row of the length of the pencil case and then after the next row we can start closing the side of the pencil case off yeah. okay so now I'm moving on to the last row of the length of the pencil case we're just going to put one single crochet into the first uh, four, so four single crochets. That's one, two, three. So there's four, and then in the next stitch we'll color change. That's insert yarn over pull through. We'll have two purple loops on a hook. Then we'll yarn over and pull. Um, then we'll yarn over and pull the the pink through those two loops on a hook. Then we'll carry the purple. Go under that diagonal line. Put one single crochet into the next stitch, and then we'll color change in the next. So we'll We'll insert, pull through, we'll have two pink loops on a hook, we'll drop the pink, and then we'll carry the purples. No, not carry, sorry, we'll pull the purple through. So we'll yarn over and pull the purple through. You can drop out pink because we don't need that anymore. And then you put one single crochet into the remaining 10 stitches. And then we'll color change into the next stitch. So now we're going to color change. We're going to insert yarn over, pull through. We'll have two purple loops on a hook. Drop the purple, pick up the green. So we're going to yarn over and pull that through those two purple loops. We'll drop the purple. And then we're going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then in the next stitch we'll color change. So we'll insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two green loops on a hook. We'll drop the green, pick up the blue. So we'll yarn over and pull the blue through those two loops. And then we'll carry the green. And then we'll go under that diagonal bar again. And then we'll just put one single crochet into the next seven stitches. And then we'll color change. So it's one, two, three four, four, 
six, seven. And then in the next stitch we'll color change. So we'll insert yarn over pull through. Whoopsie. And over pull through, we'll have two blue loops on a hook. We'll drop our blue. We'll drop the blue and then yarn over and pull the green through those two blue loops. We can drop the blue and then you can put one single crochet in the remaining five stitches. So now you can choose which color you want to do as for the other side of the pencil case, like this side. Um, I'm thinking of doing it uh, green. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So it says crochet this side and the other side. You can't really see it properly because of the tail ends, but we'll neaten that up. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the yarns that I don't need. So I'm not going to be using... Actually, what, I'll, what I'm going to do, actually no, it's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the pink here because I don't need it. I'm going to cut the purple because I'm not going to use that. I'm going to cut the blue because I don't need that. And I'm just going to get rid of those. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of those and I'm just going to work with the green. Okay, so let's close this off. Okay. So now to close off this end, we are going to slip stitch these two ends together. So I've literally just inserted my hook through that first stitch and then I'm going to insert it through that next stitch on the back. And I'm just going to slip stitch that together like that. Okay, so now um, we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch around here. So I'm just going to chain one just to begin and I'm just going to put one single crochet into that first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch all the way around until you get back to this other side here. Okay. And your stitch count would have kept the same of 36. Okay. Sounds great. okay, so now that you are back at the beginning again I've just crocheted into the last stitch and now we're just going to um, crochet into the beginning stitch of the round and then we're going to place my stitch marker. So we're going to continue working in the round. Okay, so we're now going to place again one more single crochet in each stitch around until the beginning and you would have kept the same stitch count of 36. So now for the next row, we're just going to put one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch around. So we're just going to put one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch around and you still would have kept the same stitch count of 36. Okay, okay. So, far, so for this next round, we're going to put one single crochet in the next four and then a decrease but all in the back loops. So it's going to be one single crochet in the back loop, one single crochet in the back loop, one single crochet in the back loop, one single crochet in the back loop. So that's four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll decrease the next two together. So we will increase the back loops only together. Like that. And then you'll repeat that all the way around putting one single crochet and then a decrease but all in the back loops only. And your stitch count should have gone down from 36 to 30. Okay. okay, so now for this next row, we're just going to go through the stitch as normal and we're just going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches and then we are going to decrease. Okay, so it's one, two, three and then a decrease is just in through the front loops only. So it's in through the front loop of the next stitch and then in through the front loop of the following stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through, and that's your decrease. And you finish that off with a single crochet. So you literally just repeat that, putting one single crochet into the next three, and then a decrease. And your stitch count should have gone from 30 to 24 by the end of this row. Okay. Okay. So for this next row, you're just going to put one single crochet into the next 
two stitches and then you're going to decrease and then you'll just repeat that all the way around and your stitch count would have gone from 24 down to 18 okay okay so for the next row you get around you're just going to place one single crochet and then a decrease in each stitch around until you'll so get back to the beginning and your stitch count should have gone down from 18 down to 12. okay okay moving on to the next round you're just going to put a decrease into every stitch and your stitch count should have gone from it should have gone down from 12 to 6. okay okay so now after you've done that you are just going to want to slip stitch to the next stitch so you just want to slip stitch in there you want to cut your yarn and then just pull that through and then we're just going to get our darning needle and then we are just going to sew this hole closed on this side so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in through the front loops of every stitch and then just pull the yarn through okay so you just want to go through each stitch it's basically like a big decrease if you think about it okay so you just do that all the way around so you get to the beginning can just pull on that quite tightly and then you can just go into the pencil case through the inside and there we go it should look something like that so it should have closed up nicely okay and this is what our little pencil case should be looking like now so now the only thing that we need to do is we just need to sew in these tail ends clean it up a bit and if there's any areas that you feel like that needs to be um, like kind of neatened up a bit more or where it needs to be more defined like here you can't really see that it's like a stitch of the E so you can just take a tail end from this side push it through and then just sew that over and then same with all of these stitches okay so I'm just going to sew in this tail end and all of these other tail ends and neaten everything up and then I will show you how to sew in the zip so now I have finished sewing in all of the ends to the pencil case and this is what it should be looking like. So now we're just going to sew in the zip. So I'm just going to take this this like lavender purple like cotton yarn here. I'm just going to take quite a little bit of it. And I'm just going to cut it and then I'm going to get my sewing needle. So I'm just going to use this needle here. It is my smallest needle that I have and it has a super small I so I'm just gonna thread it on and then I'm just going to open my zip and what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to roughly pin down I think I'm just gonna roughly pin down where I want the zip to sit so I'm just gonna get my pin cushion here and I'm just going to make sure that the zip is like centered in the middle of those two colors there. And I'm just going to put a pin in there. And then I'm just going to pin the zip down. And you want to try and keep the zip roughly like the same heart all the way around. Um, you don't want the crochet work to be clued too close to the teeth of the zip um because the uh the zip might catch uh, might catch the, the crochet work okay so i'm just going to go around pinning this to the crochet pencil case and then i'll come back and show you what it's like after it's pinned so as I said, you roughly want to keep it like the same measurement all the way around. Okay. Okay. 
So now I had just turned my pencil case inside out and just pinned it like this. I'd find that it was easier to do it this way. Um, so as you can see, the ends kind of line up on this side. So that's kind of what you want. So I am going to turn the pencil case back to the right side. Careful you don't break yourself. Um, okay, so I'm just going to turn it to the right side now. Sorry. Okay. I'm just going to fold this over. Fix this. Okay, so now I'm just going to test out the zip, see if I'm happy with it. So this will obviously get tucked in inside. Sounds right. And then just gonna close the zip, see if I'm happy with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab another pin and where these two join, I'm just going to put a pin in over there. So now we can turn our work back to the wrong side, turn it back inside out, come on, there we go, okay, and now we can just get our needle and our fabric, not our fabric, sorry, our needle and thread. So I've already thread my needle on here. Okay, so now I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start at this end. So I'm just going to go up into the work just through the center of that stitch. It's not going to come out through the side. Just up through the stitch and then in through the zip. Okay, I'll tie that in a knot later or we'll tie that or we'll sew that in. So I'm just going to just neatly sew this down. Just picking up some of picking up the thread from the pencil case. And I'm just going to so the zip to the pencil case like this. Okay. If you can, you, you can definitely do a neater job than me. I am just lightly just sewing this down into place. Don't quite like slip here. I'm gonna sew this down. Like that. Okay, so just see it, I'm just going to do this all the way around. Sounds okay, so you can continue this all the way around, Sounds just right. sewing the zip down to the pencil case, and you can also sew down these little tail ends of the zip. Okay, then I'll meet back up with you when we are done with sewing the zip in. Okay. Okay, so now I have finished sewing the edge of the zip to the pencil case. So this is what it should be looking like so far. But now what I'm going to do is I am just going to... Um, so I have a little bit left. It won't be enough. I'll probably have to attach another ball. I mean, not, not, another, not another ball. Another piece of thread. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the pencil case, trying not to go through any of the stitches, just go through like that and then through the zip, make sure it's not sh sewing, sh showing through the other side, I'm getting my blues mixed up here. Okay, so then I'm going to insert into the zip 
and then I'm gonna make sure to just just catch catch the pencil case. Sounds driving. Come on. Making sure just yeah. Just making sure just to catch it and then you'd wanna go back back where you came out from. Move more along on the pencil case and then just pull that through. So now you'll have something that looks like this. So of course you can do it again much neater than what I'm doing. And again I'm going to insert, making sure to catch some of those stitches on the back but not making sure that it like doesn't show through. And then I'm going to go back again through like the stitch that I came out of. Again I'm going to go a little bit further than my working yarn and then I'm going to just thread that through like that. So it should begin to look something like that. Okay. So you can just go ahead and you can continue to do that all the way around and then I'll come back when we are finished with sewing down the zip. Okay. okay, so there is our finished sewn in zip. You can do a way better job than I did. I just did this just to do it quickly and get it out of the way. So now we can just turn this inside out. And there is our lovely pencil case. Okay, let's see if it works nicely. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. So there we go, that is it for this lovely tutorial. I'm sure you can definitely do a better job at sewing the zip in. <laughs> um, yeah, it does. It, it doesn't look nice, does it? <laughs> okay. Uh, but yes, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching this lovely tutorial. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching how to crochet this crochet pencil case. And I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about tapestry crochet, which is basically what this is. Carrying your yarn and doing color changing and all of that. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you could please like, comment and subscribe. And if you could maybe hit that bell notification, I would greatly, uh, agree, uh, sorry, I would greatly appreciate that. And, um... Yeah, so you can also be notified of when I upload new tutorials to my YouTube channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the video crocheting.